Election day is almost here and one major issue is housing affordability. My name is Chris Cusimano. Some people call me Cousy, and today we're going to break down what a Trump or Harris presidency could look like for housing prices and affordability. On one side, Harris is focusing on increasing supply by working with builders to build more townhomes, duplexes, and condos. She's even proposing a $40 billion innovation fund to help local governments build more housing in order to try to tackle the $4.5 million housing shortfall. Trump's approach, while not as detailed, talks about about reducing zoning restrictions and using federal lands to build more housing. However, there is a concern that his tariffs will increase the cost to build a house, making new homes more expensive. He's also suggesting of eliminating or removing completely mortgage access to undocumented immigrants and deporting millions of people in order to ease housing demands. For first-time homebuyers, Harris is proposing a $25,000 first-time homebuyer credit. However, some experts believe that this may increase home prices without fixing the supply gap. Trump also wants wants to offer tax incentives for first-time homebuyers. However, his specifics are still unclear. And for renters, Harris is planning action against corporate landlords who own 50 properties or more in the hopes of stabilizing rents. When it comes to rentals, Trump hasn't specified any plan that we know of. As these policies unfold, which approach do you feel will work best for the housing affordability situation? I'm really curious of what you think, so let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're thinking about moving to or from the Palm Beach or Broward County areas of Southeast Florida, well, give the Homes by Koozie team a call because we can help.